Dude, guys, Jingo X here, and today we're playing the game called Apartment 327. So I recently found this on Steam. This game does not come out until next year of February. So I decided, you know what, let me download it. Okay, then, just breathe heavily while I'm talking over. Alright, all right, so I just recently found this on Steam. I decided, you know what, I want to check it out to see what it's all about. And, yeah, I downloaded it. Let's go ahead and try it out. Woo! Alright, here we go. Forward walk backwards. Right. Space bar for flashlight. Run with shift. Right click flashlight. What? Why are there so many buttons for flashlights? Space bar for flashlight. F for flashlight. Right click for flashlight. That's a lot of flashlight buttons. Alright. New game. Yes. Alright, here we go. Oh, focus. Okay, there we go. That was the most creepiest noise I heard. 1923. After a series of strange events, the... I don't know how to say that name. Family disappeared from their house without a trace. 1965. There are so many things I regret. What do you regret? But it is too late for the cor to correct my mistakes. Imagine comes very to my head. As of everything was a distant dream. However, I clearly remember those eyes. That look. I mean, they looked me while they took my life. Oh, here we go. All right, so then it still is a work in progress. That's what it says up there. And yeah, even though it's still a work in progress, I like to try it out. What the heck? Eh, it should be okay. Makes it look kind of laggy in the video. I don't know, it looks weird. But it's still a work in progress. All right, let's do this. Okay, I guess we're first starting off into a creepy looking house. Because it, I'm not even sure if it's even a horror game. The only thing I saw the tag was like it was action, adventure, um, indie, and something else. Ooh, we got a pocket watch here. Or a watch necklace. Okay. May, May 4th. 1965 at least they gave me the green light to enter tomorrow in the old house of the family the house has remained closed since the tragedy occurred and no one has dared to enter until now this can be a great opportunity for my career okay so i'm guess you're a news reporter oh journalist okay so i guess you're a news reporter and now we head downstairs damn it they do, oh damn it looks kind of choppy in the video or whatever i just want to try it out man i just want to know what this is about august 2nd 2016 massive protest against the rebuild of the berlin wall oh okay wait so oh yeah this is the year wait why does that say 2016 oh wait never mind 2016 never mind i changed my mind Oh, it's locked. Okay, nothing special. July 8th, 1923. A cure for photosynthesis. The sun child prepares the problem. Okay, that's eh. just a bunch of articles in the newspapers. Pretty much what it is. Tell me about the old time. This is a safe, right? Yeah. Alright, so we'll go ahead and walk into the other door. Onto my left over here. And open. Oh, what is this? Time lift. Let me check up here real quick. Okay, not much. Oh, wait, wait. Never mind. I see something here. A gone tuning fork. It immutes a strange frequency. Object sent to the interval. Into interval. I don't know. So it's like I can't even say that word. I don't know why. All right. So I guess we, I guess this is probably for this right here. I'm probably guessing, right? Yep. And we're in. 
Current day August 02. To, okay, so oh, so you tell me I could travel from all the way from 2016 to wait, is she currently in 1923? Or do you want me to click on 1923 of July? Okay. Huh. I had discovered time traveling. <laughs> I basically went back in time. So, this, okay, so, so far, I guess this game allows me to travel back in time in each of these years, which I have no idea why and what is the reason behind it. It could probably be apartment 327. That's what that is. Because apparently, probably, probably apartment 20, I mean, 327 right now. It's a book. Alright, let's go ahead and turn to the other door over here. Yep, that's blood. Clock, shut up. I'm trying to hear some stuff, man. Oh, what happened here? Why? Not cool. Alright, we're heading downstairs. What up? What is this? A drawer handle, it might be useful. Okay. Yo, I swear, if this if it if that statue moves, I would lose my mind. Boy, you better stay where you are with your naked self. What's your pants at, man? Ain't nobody ain't trying to see all that. Alright. Oh. Alright, so it looks like I'm heading back upstairs then. Oh wait, oh there's a note here. July, uh, July 17th, oh, his name is Joseph. July 17th, 1923. Strange noises have been heard in the house the last few days. I feel as if someone is watching us. In addition, those noises happen at the same time as Claire's strange behavior. I think that's how you say it, Claire? Eh, I guess. She has not wanted, I mean, she has not wanted to leave her room since we came back from the market of toys. And every time we enter at her room, she gets very nervous. Oh. Oh, she gets very nervous. I don't know why. All right, so I'm gonna head back upstairs. Maybe there's a drawer up here I could probably go to. That's new, that's static. And that, that is a new noise. We're gonna go in here first. Let me see, does this open? Oh, it doesn't. Look. Was that there? I don't know. Was that silly bear there? Can somebody tell me? Oh wow, I didn't even see this note. July 10th, 1923. A market of toys is opening in the city tomorrow. Well, great news that it will be open at night. Clara would be very happy when we take her to see him. Ooh. Okay, so there's a lot, a little story going behind here. Uh, you like that bear? I know you're welcome. Honestly, I don't know if that bear was there. All right, so I'm gonna try to head back up. I mean, ah, go downstairs again. Oh wait, oh it's the it's the um the clock watch again. Because I have a handle for the drawer, and it's I don't know. Do I just take the time traveling machine? Okay, so it looks like I gotta take I gotta take the time traveling machine and head back to another year or another month, depending on what uh, 1923 we're going to right now. All right. Now what? Did I just hit this? Go back to 2016. Oh. Maybe that, maybe I needed that object, that item, maybe take it back. Probably there's a drawer that I didn't even check that I didn't know that needed a handle. That could be the reason. Is that always there? No, wait. Oh, yeah, yes, it was, yes, it was. Oh, my gosh, I'm actually losing my mind. All right, so go ahead back this way. 
Oh, so this was the room that was locked, right? Yeah. Oh, this is new. What am I looking for? I still don't have a flashlight. Where the heck did I put this door little handle thing at? What was it this? Oh, it is. Oh, it's a key. It okay, allows to open closed doors. Object sensor. Oh, nice. Okay, maybe now. You gotta head back to 1923 again. Okay. Alright. Now I found an old key, which will probably help me open up maybe at least one door. Maybe the one that's on the left of the left of me or the one that is downstairs. Did I let that door open? Who knows? I don't know, I'm still I'm still like It moved. This a Boy! What did I tell you? If you move Actually I don't know what the heck I was gonna do to you. So I'm just gonna go this way and open up this door. Okay, cool. Alright. Don't move. I see you. The Cormai! Huh? Green light, yellow, I mean, yellow light, green light, uh, whatever I, <laughs> I forgot you. Damn it. <laughs> okay. I looks like I have to go this way. Yo, I don't know. That's creepy. Oh, that's the killer. That boy's gonna kill me, watch. Nope. Okay, so this gotta be the door. Oh, it is. Oh, okay, so that was the door from the past. Let me check these drawers here. Okay, not much. I'm gonna head upstairs. I really don't know what happened to this family. If I can find more of those um, letters, probably will tell me more of it. Oh, hell no. I'm gonna punch you in your solid, in your solid nudge, man. If, if you move one more time, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna punch you in that solid nudge down there, man. So stay where you are. Oh, fuck. No, I'm running. So scroll. So have all these paintings we have to why is every single these paint have I mean well only this one has the a guy it looks like he has his head chopped off or something or just his neck is slit. Oh no! Oh my gosh! What the heck? Oh I think I might need something. Oh you gotta be kidding me. Okay, so it looks like I might need a Pacific item for that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm already freaking out. Lost in time and space is all about you. What are you doing just before arriving at this place? From the situation they had given your authorization to investigate the disappearance of the... Oh, okay, so the premiers of disappeared. But when you have arrived at their house, you have to, you have realized that something is really wrong with this place. You don't know why, but your 
stuck in a space-time loop that keeps you tied to this place. Oh, how is it possible? Surely, surely your challenges at the pro, oh no, wait, colleges at the program would not believe to experience your, I mean, you are living challenges. Yeah, I think so. Finding an exit is the only so solution. But again, let's go back to the beginning. What were you doing just before you got here? How is it possible to end up trapped in a space-time? Uh, okay, that's just a lot. Awards. If you guys want to go ahead and continue reading that, you can go ahead and press pause and read the rest. March 18th, 1912. Our worst amends have been confirmed. Our little girl suffers from allergy to the sun. Whoa. Wow. Which means that she will never be able to go outside again during the day. I fear for the consequences of the change of life that awaits her. Not being able to go to school or spend time with other children. How will not, I mean, yeah, how will not all these change affect my little daughter during her childhood? Damn. That, that kind of sucks. She's allergic to the sun. Is that even possible? I don't know, this game, like, you don't think it's creepy, but it makes it feel creepy. Like, not much is happening, but it's just a clock in that statue. Like, you think shit's going down, but, like, you don't know when it's gonna happen. Like, that's how I feel about it. Especially with all this blood. Nineteen thirteen. I mean, July 13, 1923. The Children's Reaper Act of Gamera. Oh, a Reaper Act of Gamera. A new victim of the body of one of the famous children of the dock has appeared dead yesterday. Without any trace of his head with this, 13 children have already been beheaded since the first victim appeared in May 1921. Due to the lack of any, any identification document, the authorities have requested the... Oh, it's not... Whatever that word is, of the neighbors of the area. Oh, co co ah, co ah, I know the word now. Of the neighbors of the area to be able to identify the body. Um, it's, um, well, how do you say it? Because uh, I know that I'm probably going to say it wrong, but I know the word now. We got some here with some beans. We got here some pasta. We got here some... With vitamins, cereals with vitamins. Like, oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and continue. Alright, so, okay, I can't go through there. Ooh. Oh, I found a flashlight. Nice. Okay, so if I hold right click, it makes it bright. Oh! <laughs> really? That scared the crap out of me. So is this flashlight like my weapon? If I press the space bar for that, for that big flash, would it, would it scare away the statue of the monsters? Do I go back to the time travel? I don't know what to do. Oh, okay, that makes a lot of sense. It needed the flashlight. Oh, lost in time and space. It's all about you. Oh, uh, yeah, I can't really see that much. All right, if you guys want to pause and go ahead and read it a little bit. All right, leave it right there. Roll the tape. Oh, a minute. Oh. No, let's make it ten times creepier. No, -uh, I don't want to be in this film. All right, we're exploring. Okay, this is made it ten times even more creepy. Oh, hell no. Yeah, it's confirmed. It's a horror.
You guys saw that, right? That dude was tall. He went over here, right to the left side. Yeah. You better stay in there. Y'all, I'm scared. Like, literally, my heart is like beating right now. I got a key. Oh my gosh. I gotta relax. A key for use of hospital employees. I'll take it. Alright. Um, is it where the office was? I'm probably guessing. I think I could do this. Near death experience, blah blah blah. blah. Alright, moving on. You guys will really press both because right now I gotta like, keep going. I can't stop from here. What is this? Oh, okay. Maybe it probably means that's like how many rooms they have. Okay, that's probably what that is. Got myself a telephone. Ring, ring. Hello, sir. What room would you like to have today, sir? The suite? Okay. <laughs> Even though I'm trying to make it... Not, I'm trying to make it less scary for me right now. Just acting kind of dumb with my words. But hey, if it works for me, then hey, who knows? I don't want to know what's down here actually. I don't know why, but just a bit curious. The next phase of the NDE is the so called light tunnel. The subject goes through a moment of intense light until they find an exit to a new place where their last memories happen again. Traumatized. Narrate, oh, whatever that word is. Alright, go ahead, continue. Moving on. Oh, I didn't even see this. Oh, it's just a bathroom. What's the door here? Oh, okay, so this is to the other side. Right? Yep. Oh, this is the comment. So this is by the door. Okay, never mind. Okay, so this is where all the um, people go during, I guess, you know, the doctors and stuff like that.
Hello, spirits. Patient name Annie Green. Current state total disconnection from reality. In the last month, she suffers from intense nightmares in which darkness calls her to be her serpent. A daily assessment of her mental state is is recommended. All right, looks like she is gone from this earth. All right, so it's not really much here. Okay, so now I gotta go back all the way to down the hall where I had the um, what should we call it? The office, or maybe I might have just pretty much leave. Yeah, okay, take me out of here. This room is already creepy as it is, very scary. So I don't know what is really gonna happen actually. I'm not trying to run as them because I don't I'm not sure if she has like you know um when she runs they like breathe heavily and they stop. She could have like one of that type of stuff. Is that the office? Oh no. Or is it this one? Really? So I have a key, I don't know how to get back. What the? Same hospital. Wait. What happened? What happened? Did I press the button? By oh, I pressed the menu button. Oh, I pressed the Q button by accident. Joking, right? Oh, I pressed the Q button by accident. I didn't mean to. Can I still continue or no? I'm about to find out. Ah, oh no, continue. Oh, thank gosh. Woo! I want to continue. I still want to keep on going and see what the heck is going on. There. Okay, I'm glad that I'm glad there's a continue button. Oh, never mind. There's not. Damn. All right. All right, guys. I'm going to leave it there. That was room 323, I believe it's called. No, apartment, apartment 323. I think so. So, that, yeah. I think that's the name. Wait. Is it safe back here? Oh, wait, wait. I know, I know where it says it. 327. Okay, yeah. So, that was apartment 327. I pressed the key button by accident. I was like, damn it. So, it took me back to me. But it is still a working progress game. I hope you guys enjoyed so far seeing the things that I was seeing, and it was very creepy. It was kind of getting scary, especially with that boy, the statue boy figure trying to follow me. So it's some giant big figure. I don't know. That could probably be the Reaper. Who knows? So thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to go ahead and probably check it out and finish it on your own towards the end, go ahead, try it out, and let me know what happened at the end. And I'll see you guys next time for another video. If you guys got any games you guys want me to check out, please let me know in the comments in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. Jigga X out, and peace!